hope you're well and you're having a good Easter. I wanted to come on and just share um, Romans uh, 10, 10. And it talks about how when we confess, well, I'll read the word, it says, I'll read it now, it says, For with the heart a person believes in Christ as Saviour, resulting in his justification, that is being made righteous, being free of the guilt of sin and made acceptable to God, and with the mouth he acknowledges and confesses his faith openly, resulting in and confirming his salvation. So the Lord is saying here, when you are, when you confess and you say, Lord, you know, I repent, I give my heart to you, you're, you are immediately making that connection with God. You're confessing the, the Lord Jesus as Saviour, God and King. You're repenting of your sin and the Lord forgives all your sins he washes you clean and no matter how you feel or no matter what you've done the Lord is saying when you confess him as Lord and you repent you're forgiven you might think that's too good to be true I've done too much no the Lord says in Roman in Romans 10 10 when you confess that faith by faith and you confess him as Lord just you're forgiven so be encouraged today that no matter what you've done, no matter what your past is, no matter what you've, you might think, okay, I could never be forgiven for that. The Lord is saying here in Romans 10, 10, that when you confess him as Lord and Savior, you are forgiven. And what a great time to give your heart to the Lord. Oh, it's Easter now. Easter where Jesus died on the cross. He rose again. He died for you and me. And he broke the power of death. He broke the power of sin. And today, be encouraged to give your heart to the Lord, make peace with God, and get on the same page as Jesus. And know that when he says you're forgiven, no matter what you've done, you are forgiven. He doesn't count your sin against you. You just only believe. Confess him as Lord, and you'll be forgiven. And he gives you a brand new clean slate. And it's true. You might think it's too good to be true. How can I be fully pardoned? That's the power of the cross this Easter. As you meditate, as you go through this Easter, remember. Remember that. Remember that, you know, Romans 10, 10, Romans 10, 10, and where the Lord, uh, you know, gave himself over for you and for me that we can be forgiven of all sin. And so today is the day of salvation for you. Today is the day, not tomorrow, but today. Be encouraged today to, to pray that prayer that I'm going to leave in the description of this video and make peace with God. And know that when he says you're forgiven, no matter what you've done, you are forgiven. In Jesus' name, amen.